Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and I'm so excited for this video because it is a little bit different to my usual videos. If you like this style and want me to do a nighttime regime, hit that thumbs up button and also comment below and let me know. The first thing I do is hit my man on the face, gotta remind him to wake up because this guy is like a log, he just does not wake up. Then I put my slippers on and the second thing I do is I'm gonna make my bed. Bam! Done. How easy is that? Yeah, right, if only it was that easy. Then I head over to the toilet, brush my teeth, do my business, and then I wash my face because, listen, I'm trying to clear my skin, I'm trying to make it crystal clear, and my skin lady, Dr. Yuzura, has got me on some crazy six-step regime to try and clear this skin to make it as healthy and glowy as possible, but... <sighs> A beauty is pain, okay? I've got to do what I've got to do. Then afterwards, I head on over to my little dressing room and I'm going to be doing my hair and makeup. I do this first thing and the reason being is because I have such a busy schedule and life. I'm always doing things, I'm always on the go, recording, working, editing, etc. So I like to take around about half an hour in a day to just do my makeup and it's so therapeutic for me. You can try meditation, you can try reading in the morning, whatever you fancy, but for me personally, I just really like to take my time to get ready. You know, just some me time. Think about my life, think about my dreams, you know, that's okay. If you, if you have that moment during the day, you do you, you keep going, you keep dreaming, you keep meditating, it's fine. So anyway, as you can see, I've probably placed and put like 20,000 products in my face because oh my god this Obagi regime I just don't even understand my life it's just consuming so much time but anyway I promise I'm nearly done put some sun cream on my face SPF 50 and now just putting some Vaseline just gotta um, make those lips juicy okay and now I'm doing my hair because right let me tell you something about my hair it is a little bit dry because I have colored it so much I'm trying to make it lighter but doing it in processes. And it is four days unwashed right now, okay? Don't judge me, it is four days unwashed. So I put just a little bit of conditioning cream on the ends just to moisturize the ends as much as possible. And whenever my hair is really dirty, all I do is just briefly straighten my hair and then I pop it into a ponytail. Just because my roots are slick and wet but my pony looks fresh, so I just pop it up. It looks clean, I look put together, and I can go another day without cleaning my hair. I mean, right, that's just life. If I would never have to wash my hair again, I would be the happiest person in the world. I absolutely hate washing my hair. I might not be the only one, right? So then I'm moving on to my makeup, and yes, I do wear makeup. I know my skin is like all over the gaff right now, but makeup makes me feel good, you know? When I put it on, I feel like I can conquer the world. It just makes me just feel a little bit better about myself. So if something makes you feel good, do it, you know? Just don't feel bad about it and don't be apologetic about it. So if you want me to do a makeup routine on how I hide my blemishes without caking your face, like you don't wanna cake your face, you know? So if you want me to do one of those, just comment down below and let me know, I'll happily do that for you guys. Always make sure your tools are also washed. I wash my makeup brushes at least, at least once a week. I really prioritize in washing my makeup brushes and changing my pillowcases on a daily basis. Well, my pillowcases, not my brushes. So um, yeah, just a quick routine, something fresh, something light. Moving on to moisturizer. I need to moisturize my body just to like help it keep it lush and glowing, deodorant, some Gucci perfume. Ooh, Gucci, bougie. That's probably like too bougie for me, you know? And then I am putting on a nice gym outfit. I do record during the day. That is part of what I do. My job is recording content for you guys. So I went for a spicy number here, a little hot pink set, you know, keep it spicy for my man, but for you guys too. Then I head on downstairs and listen, I need coffee. I need a hot, hot coffee at this stage. By the way, I forgot to mention, I wake up around about seven o'clock and by the time I get downstairs, it's about 7.45, 8. 
latest with everything I've just done. Like I said, I like to take my time just getting ready. It's just my me time. I don't have any time apart from that one hour in the morning. Even when I was working 30 hours a week and getting my law degree, I would prioritize waking up one hour early on purpose to just have a little bit of me time. And I think it's so important for your mental well-being and to just invest some time into you. It's so essential. I cannot stress that enough. I've also switched to black coffee. The reason being is because I want to avoid as much syrups and sugar and unnecessary ingredients to your morning coffee. A good old black brew is kind of all you need and just a little bit sweetener. The other thing I've started doing is if you've been following my channel for a while I've been juicing every single morning on an empty stomach essentially before food before breakfast. The reason being I want to get as many vitamins and minerals and micronutrients in my system as possible and listen your girl is fitness but your girl hates veggies so if I can blend them, juice them, and put them in my system. Okay, that's good news for me. So here I've got some celery, apple, and ginger juice. Just a really good boost in the morning. You automatically feel healthy. If you're starting healthy, let's pray to God we maintain a healthy day. You know, at least start healthy. And then if you want a bit of chocolate, that's fine. Then I make a good, wholesome, nutritional breakfast. Listen, I cannot function without food. I know a lot of people can and that's amazing and, and I don't know how you do it, but I need me some good nutritional food. So I'm making some eggs, some leeks, some toast, some salmon, putting everything together and just getting a good meal with me. I am such an advocate for good wholesome food, healthy fats in your system as well. And I do try and get as many as my fats in the morning as possible. I train during the afternoon, evening time. I do not train in the morning, but when I do train in the morning, I will have probably a lighter breakfast. If you don't have time in the morning to prioritize cooking breakfast, that's completely fine. And if you're on the go, simply get one of those oat pots and add hot water, some berries, nuts, and peanut butter for your good wholesome fats. You've got your complex carbs and you've got your micronutrients in there as well. And you're good to go. But prioritize filling your body with good nutritional food in the morning. That's just for me. But if you do intermittent fasting, that's a different story. And I spend some time with buttons. This is my dog, everybody. If you haven't met her, where have you been? This is my seven month year old golden retriever. She is the love of my life. Don't tell Jack. But she is truly the love of my life. Just look at her. How can anyone, anyone not like dogs? I mean, what's wrong with you? Anyway. Then I move on over to my whiteboard. Now I know a lot of people sit down and write their to-do list on paper, which is fine, but I just think it's a waste of paper, you know? You don't wanna be wasting unnecessary paper. So if you buy yourself a cheeky little whiteboard, it doesn't have to be as humongous as mine. Lord knows why I decided to buy such a big one in my life. But um, yeah, if you get a little whiteboard and write your to-do, 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 T-D, to-do list, sorry guys, if you write your to-do list, then, you know, you can just wipe it off when you've finished each task. Whiteboards are also reusable. Like I said, you don't have to get a big one like this. You can actually get a little miniature one as well. It looks a little bit more cuter. And um, another thing I like doing is writing the thing I need to do first. So that's what I like to keep in mind. The things that I need to do first that I've been allowing to pile up maybe during the week or during the days that I just need to get over and done with you know stuff like laundry washing things that you don't really like doing like listen I hate doing laundry okay I have to do it because my man is not gonna touch the laundry he doesn't even know what buttons to press he knows how to press my buttons but any other buttons he's clueless in life so anyway so I do the laundry and that's the first thing I do during the day kind of like my to do and it's just something that I like to do. I like to make sure that all my clothes are clean, ironed. Just invest a little bit of time putting it away. Don't let it pile up. As soon as one wash is done and dried, just go and put it upstairs or wherever your bedroom is and just put it away because I made the mistake of allowing my washing to pile up, my clean washing to pile up. And then when I had to put it away, oh my God, I nearly like, 
let me just breathe because I don't even want you to see the pile of clothes I have or even had oh my god so anyway I just pop some laundry detergent make my clothes nice and fresh and clean also I want to do how I wash my gym clothes so again if that's something you want to see just comment down below because I really want to do that so you don't ruin the logo like I did because I'm a fish so yeah then I get into work now I get into business so like I said my job is producing content for you guys but also I run businesses I have my clientele my online clients and guys I've got exciting news about that soon which I will announce very soon but oh my god oh my god anyway so my online clients we've built a community of 30,000 women can I just get a hey once I get my camera ready, my gimbal, put my memory cards in my camera, ready to work, I then sit down and go on my phone. If you've realised I haven't gone on my phone once this morning, and there's a huge reason for that. Phones are a massive distraction. I know my job is social media, it's creating content, it's engaging with you guys, but it can be very consuming for absolutely anyone, job related or non-job related. So I like to sit on my phone once I've achieved at least one or two of my tasks. I go through comments, I go through DMs, I reply to you guys as much as possible because listen, you my family, okay? You're not followers or subscribers, you are family. So we gotta stay connected, engaged, so yeah, I, I really don't think it's necessary to be on your phone first thing in, your morn in the morning. I really don't. Just take some time away from your phone, from social media, invest some time in you. And that's really helped me. Honestly, it really has. I've got things done. Then I head on out to the gym and create my workout videos, any YouTube videos that I need to record for you guys. I get back home, I edit the videos, I upload them. And then I sit and do as many client emails as possible because the client emails are replied to within 24 hours. And that is it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Okay. So that is it guys. I hope you loved, liked, and, you know, maybe give a go this morning routine. Um, this is personally what I do. What you're doing may work perfectly for you. This just works for me. If you notice as well, I don't really go on my phone till I completed multiple tasks and that's because I just don't want to be distracted and have any distractions. So I truly hope this video helped and I truly hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure that you are subscribed to this channel and make sure that you are following me on Instagram and comment down below for any future videos that you would like to see. I love you always and forever. Mwah. Your breath smells. <laughs> Your breath smells. You always smell smelly pants.